Sometimes fascinating discoveries that turn up within our world can be awe-inspiring examples of how far science has already taken us into the future, and sometimes they are just plain mind-boggling. Whether it be a long-missing satellite discovered by an ordinary person or secrets revealed about black holes by some of the most brilliant scientific minds of the day, the desire to uncover secrets to learn more about the world around us is one that lies at the heart of who we are as humans. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three recent unlikely discoveries that took place in space. Zombie Satellite Found by Amateur Radio Operator Satellites are the window into outer space and provide valuable services to those of us here on Earth. In fact, there are thousands of satellites currently working for us that are clustered outside of Earth's atmosphere, as well as many more that are no longer in use. When satellites are retired from active use, they are usually burned up upon atmosphere re-entry and forgotten about, while others remain in the skies for years after they have fallen out of use. Typically, these satellites remain because they malfunctioned in some way so that they are no longer able to be remotely controlled and they are usually forgotten about. These wandering satellites are known as zombie satellites, and not all of them are totally malfunctioned, as sometimes once they are rediscovered, a connection can be restored. Scott Tilley, an amateur radio operator living in Canada, is among the niche group of people who have made a hobby of hunting these rogue and defunct satellites down, and has even helped NASA re-establish contact with some, including the image NASA probe that disappeared in 2005. People in these groups are interested in attempting to track down the oldest possible satellites that they can. And although Tilly managed to locate the nuclear-powered US Navy navigation satellite Transit 5B-5 that launched in 1965, he had his sights set on something much higher. The LES-5 satellite was created by the Lincoln Laboratory at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and, having been launched in 1967, could be the oldest functioning satellite remaining in geostationary orbit. That is, if it was still even out there. However, Tilly is no novice at satellite hunting, and needing something to do with all the extra time he found himself with after the COVID-19 pandemic broke out and the world locked down. He quickly took on the daunting tasks of poring over papers online until he was able to discover the radio frequency that LES-5 operated on and began the time-consuming process of building a structure to support the massive antenna that would pick up what he hoped was the correct frequency. And on March 24th, he was finally rewarded for his efforts as he picked up on radio measurements of the LES-5 as it circled the Earth. However, there was a surprise in store for him as he continued to take measurements and studied the elusive ancient satellite. Not only was LES-5 still active in orbit in Earth's atmosphere, but its radio apparently did not shut down as planned in 1972 and is still operating, continually charging with the solar panels attached to it. This means that it is highly possible the satellite could be contacted once again after all these years. Interestingly, despite the apparent excitement that might surround such an interesting discovery, the lab that was responsible for creating the satellite has not issued a comment regarding its sudden reappearance. Many think that this is an indication that LES-5 was used for classified military projects, as the lab was known to have worked on several with the US military. So it seems that this zombie satellite might have a few secrets up its sleeves despite years of radio silence. James Webb Telescope to Study Icy Space Objects in the Kuiper Belt The Kuiper Belt is a mysterious ring of icy objects that circles just outside of Neptune's orbit and often serves as a theoretical border of our known world. Although there are certainly bodies that we have studied extensively beyond this perimeter, all the eight planets thus far identified and carefully catalogued in the Milky Way are within the borders of the Kuiper Belt including former planet Pluto and its moon Charon. The belt's distance and the proliferation of icy, foreign bodies presents a challenge to researchers wishing to study its secrets, but that has not stopped many from trying. In fact, 
Researchers working with the James Webb Space Telescope have set their sights on the Kuiper Belt and the trans-Neptunian objects that rotate in and beyond, including Pluto and Charon. Along the way, they hope to also get closer looks at objects known as centaurs, or bodies that used to orbit within the Kuiper Belt but now have been pulled closer to Earth. Many of these centaurs now reside in the region between Jupiter and Neptune, likely including Neptune's moon Triton, and provide much closer and clearer examples of Kuiper Belt objects. But why would researchers be so keen to get a glimpse at this formation at the outer edges of our world? For starters, even the smallest clue can help scientists to continue to piece together the puzzle about how our universe was formed and how it evolved into the mysterious and incredibly complex world that we know today. The Kuiper Belt is a perfect candidate for hidden clues because of the incredible variety of objects that circle within its limits, different orbits, atmospheres, colours, sizes, shapes and geologic activity make it pretty much any astronomer's dream. Previous attempts to get a closer look at these bodies have been largely uninformative, but the James Webb Space Telescope possesses much more sensitive infrared cameras that will hopefully be able to get a better glimpse at the variety beyond Neptune. Jonathan Lunin, an astronomer working with the Webb team, described the plethora of icy objects in the Kuiper Belt as the graveyard of solar system formation, with some objects having likely been in orbit for billions upon billions of years. Analysis of these objects will hopefully be able to provide valuable data about what the world might have looked like in its formative years, which we currently do not have very clear-cut ideas about. Heidi Hamill, with the Webb Interdisciplinary Team, said that using Webb, we will be able to get information about surface chemistry that might be able to give us some clues into why there are these different populations in the Kuiper Belt. Hopefully, the James Webb Telescope will provide information and the clearer image into the depths of the Milky Way that astronomers have been in search of for years, and there is no telling what mysteries will be uncovered then. Black hole jets might be sending trio of high-energy particles at Earth. The infinite mass of space has caused lots of problems for scientists seeking answers to a multitude of questions, including the long-standing mystery with a likely simple solution of where do the ultra-high energy cosmic rays, high energy neutrinos and gamma rays constantly raining down on Earth come from? Even though the answer itself might not be too complicated, Finding that answer is a much harder challenge, as the intricate void of space makes it an almost insurmountable challenge to attempt to track down the source of these common particles, which produce millions of times more energy than has ever been available on our own planet. All scientists have been able to determine is that these strange beams originate outside of the Milky Way, but we might be getting one step closer to the answer at long last. Recently, Two researchers collaborated to create a mind-boggling model that proposes that the source of not one but all these incredibly high-energy rays is none other than supermassive black hole jets. They were led to this conclusion by the observation that, although each of these three types of particles may seem unrelated at first, they all actually produce similar amounts of power and possess what appears to be related intensities prompting researchers to search for an unlikely solution that would include all three rays, which led them to the black hole jets. Kota Marasi, an assistant professor at Penn State University and one of the developers of this new model explained that the new model suggests that very high-energy neutrinos and high-energy gamma rays are naturally produced via particle collisions as daughter particles of cosmic rays and thus can inherit the comparable energy budget of their parent particles. It demonstrates that the similar energetics of the three cosmic messengers may not be a mere coincidence. This research is groundbreaking, as it carefully analyzes the individual components of all three of these particles in order to shed some light on what is currently a very dim topic. This newly proposed black hole phenomenon is described as multi-messenger emission and refers to the strange myriad of phenomena that is observed in cosmic events such as these supermassive black hole jets. This question is one that has puzzled astronomers for decades, 
and the two researchers were able to offer a relatively simple solution, and one that did not rely on observations taken from satellite or telescope images attempting to track the source of these powerful bursts. Rather, they analyzed the intrinsic components of the rays themselves, instead looking for clues within about where they could have come from. These new propositions now can provide a new direction for researchers seeking answers as they attempt to confirm the multi-messenger emission model. If proved true, this incredible discovery could usher in a new age for astronomy as one of the most perplexing and enduring space mysteries could finally be considered closed at long last. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.